Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid with the headlines of this hour. Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad has slammed India's unilateral abrogation of occupied Kashmir special status, calling it a siege. Speaking at a Kashmir solidarity event in Kuala Lumpur organized by the Malaysian Consultative Council of Islamic Organization, Mahathir described New Delhi's actions as an invasion and occupation of the valley, saying India is imposing its will on Kashmiris with impunity. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan thanked the Malaysian leader for supporting Kashmiris and speaking against Indian repression. India has reported the highest daily coronavirus cases in the world today with over 61,500 new infections and 933 deaths. The US has registered more than 58,000 cases and 1,243 deaths in a day. In Brazil, over 50,000 people have tested positive for the virus since yesterday while 1,079 more died. Here in Pakistan, COVID-19 daily death toll continues to decline with 14 fatalities, taking the tally to 6,068. The global number of COVID-19 cases has crossed 19.2 million, with more than 719,000 deaths. Hong Kong has slammed the United States sanctions on its chief executive, Kerry Lam, saying the curbs are savage and unreasonable. The territory's former secretary, Edward Yao, warned of a potential blowback for U.S. businesses in the financial hub. Meanwhile, Beijing has called the U.S. move clowning action, saying these threats cannot frighten the Chinese people. In Somalia, eight people have been killed and 14 others injured in a blast at a military base in the capital, Mogadishu. A military official said the attack appeared to be a suicide car bomb explosion. No group has claimed responsibility so far. In Afghanistan, chairman of the consultative peace, Jirga Abdullah Abdullah, says the decision on the release of 400 Taliban prisoners will be announced today. Abdullah said the the decision will be made under the suggestions submitted by the consultative committees of the Loya Jirga. Well, that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.